Welcome back guys this is Srikant today we are going to talk about two important analytical function which are lead and lag these two function are very useful when we deal with the uh, analytical coding right so to start with the demonstration first let's try to understand the data and why it is important and how do we use that let's talk about that great to understand that i'm going to show you some excel uh, data here so this is the data which basically i have let's try to understand this is the first column called as a senior serial number which has one two three four these are the four entry and another column i have is called as a customer underscore id which has a value called as a one one so just understand this is for the single customer another column is called as a sales underscore order underscore id which basically ha having uh, four values so is dash zero one s dash zero two s dash zero three s dash zero four these are the four values which are basically present in a uh, sales underscore order underscore id column and the fourth column we have is called as a order underscore date which basically you can say first of january second of january third of january and fourth of january so by looking at this data i can clearly see this is the information for a specific customer for uh, or all is uh, sales information i can see so this customer has purchased the first order on first of january second order he placed with us or place basically on sec uh, on second of january and third order is basically placed on third of january and fourth is basically placed on a fourth of january so my requirement is basically is very simple and it's very interesting also my requirement is i, I just want to find out the next sales order id and the previous sales order id for each and uh, each specific row so if i say here uh the first call i would say next sales order id right and uh, after that i would say previous previous underscore sales underscore order underscore id so basically i have this column and i do i want to add uh to column in a query in a such a way that i want to find out the next sales order id and the previous sales order id so uh what would be the my next sales order by looking at this data i would say the for one this should be two for two it should be three and for three it should be four and for after four we don't have anything so here it would be null and the same thing previous sales order id if i want to find out so i would say for one for for one it should be nothing right for one it should be null then for two it would be one right correct for one it should be one two three and after and, and we have four rows only okay the first if you clearly observe here the first value and the last value is null because we don't have any reference after that right so just make it formatted and just try to understand once more so basically i have the data which is basically related with the customer and you know uh, i can i am having a four row basically for a one customer which basically are having a four uh, orders and the, those are placed on a different date now i want to find out the next sales order id and i want to find out the previous sales order this is my plain requirement how i can do that right in a sql so this this could be the interview question or this could be anything so if you understand this Thing and it could be useful for anything for example someone might might be asking you can you please let me know uh, what would be the, what would be or what would have what would have what would be my next date like that right uh, in uh, respect to data set so in that case you can go for the function so to understand or to write the query in a simplest and easiest way we have a two analytical function and those two analytical function are lead and lag so let's go to the sql server and let's start with our demo okay so to demonstration purpose i'm going to create one database right so this is a database called as a demo which i'm having now just going into this database and just try to convert that table into the table so the table i have seen the four column the sr number customer id sales order id order id right these are the four columns so create the table then 
then enter into that enter the data correct okay so basically if i do a select star here what will i see so if i do a select star i can see here select star from that table so i can see four rows are there one right one two three four one 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 and then zero one zero two three like this right so this is basically the exact same data which basically i'm having or which i basically i was showing you uh, while starting the demonstration right so yeah this is done now my requirement is basically i want to write a query in a such a way that i would have a two column the first column would be the next search order id another column would be the previous search order ID. so how do i do right let's try to write the query query is very simple actually so as i said we have a function called as a lead and black so just write lead lead will give you the next value and lag will give you the previous so this is very simple so here basically you need to pass the column name so which basically you want to see so i want to find out i want to basically see the sales order so just write here sales underscore order underscore id it's very simple but you need to understand then same thing which i basically need to for the lag also right so this is done then you need to use the over clause simple over clause then it's comma right just do a copy paste again over clause in the over clause you need to specify the order by which order you want to say i want to see that order basically by the order date so how do i do that simply i will write order by order date as simple as and it should be ascending now just copy paste here now if i come here and if i run this query what would i get now let's see it let's see how it is how easy it is see s02 s03 s04 right and 0123 so this is exactly the same data which i am expecting if i'm coming here and i can see right see this four values and this four value all the data is matching correct so just uh, give some proper naming for that so lead basically will give me the next value so i would say the next says order id correct and the bottom one will give me the previous so i will just simply write the previous previous says order id okay fine perfectly fine so it's very simple now the question would come into your mind for example now i have only a single customer for example i'm going to change something you know i'm going to do what instead of one i'm going to show you i'm going to make it as two now now let's see what will happen let's add uh, two and let's add four, four more rows with another customer id i'm going to show you problem uh let's say says order id is for example five this is six. Uh, this is seven, and this is eight. Right. So just run this query. Now, again, let's come back here and run the query, and let's see something would something would be seen fishy. Now, if you see here, uh, so let's make this order order by sales order ID or order by SR number. You can say simply first column, yes. Okay, great. Now let's run the query. Now see something, you will see something fishy. Now this is the first customer, right? This is fine but now if you go to the second customer here technically now try to understand the mistake actually you know if you understand the problem then you can get the solution very quickly so if i take this data and if i try to understand it is correct or not just review it and i will observe one uh, suspicious suspicious thing here you know just do that see this is my first customer and i'm seeing the data is correct or right correct or wrong see this is the s01 right the next order should be this one but it is showing me s5 s3 and s7 oh this is wrong my result is wrong right 
why this is wrong actually because we haven't say this is for a specific customer or this is for a specific group so here the grouping is happened internally grouping is basically the customer id so what you need to do now you need to use the partition by right partition if there is a grouping you need to use a partition by if there is no grouping you simply can go with the order by if there is a grouping so you just need to use that and what is the column name customer underscore id right yeah so same thing just do a copy paste in the bottom line copy and paste and run the query and now see the magic so i can clearly see the s2 is basically coming here s3 like that right no 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 fine so this is for a first customer so let's take this data once again and let's go to the excel i would see the data like this now yeah see so s0 is showing the next value as s2 like this s4 correct and for after s4 we don't have anything so null value right like this so same thing for s5 so s5 s5 s6 s7 the next value would be s6 s7 8 uh, s8 and null right and like this so uh, this is basically the easiest and the important understanding of the lead end function for example now you have the data and your requirement is to find out next order date so what will you do you will simply replace the sales order id to the order date simple right let's do that let's do that just replace it and just run the query see now you will see the next next order next date value see 0 2 2 3 4 2 3 4 and the previous also likewise you can do anything for example you want to find out the uh, sr number next and previous so what will you do simply sr number right correct see two three four one two three likewise six seven eight five six seven right so if you hope you understand the uh, functions called as a lead and lag then also you understood what is the difference um, or uh, between the partition by in over clause or without partition by in over clause so when you have the grouping then you need to use go with a partition by if you don't have grouping you can simply go without that right mm, so uh, this this was a small demonstration which basically talks about the lead and lag function and which was intended to give you a in detail idea in detail use and lot of idea okay so uh, I hope you guys understood and got some idea from this video. Let's hope you will enjoy. You have enjoyed this video. If you like our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend, with your community. It will help us to reach and it will help us to grow. And thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.